It's maple syrup collection season, and this year I'm trying a new system. I'm trying a bag system for collecting the sap. What I did, I got a 10 foot length of two inch PVC, and I cut it down into four inch pieces, and I'm cutting a groove in it. The groove is going to hold the bag. And let me show you how we make them. Okay, first what I have to do is make a pencil line. I hold my pencil out like this, and I have, I rest the, the PVC on this finger, and now that, that'll give me a nice line all the way around. I'm going to cut a groove along my pencil line, and I'm going to uh, grind the edges smooth so that there's no sharp edges to either cut my hand or cut into the plastic. Now I'm going to cut the notch that holds the spy. And there you have it. This is a maple syrup spy. We drill into the tree, into the maple tree, and we put it on an angle going up. The sap runs down the inside of the tree and gets collected in this groove. This is the hook that we put on the tree. We've already cut our notches into our funnels. Now I drilled the hole, and this is how it goes. The, the hole goes into the hook, Right, like if I can get it right like that and that's going to rest against the tree that's how it works and the sap is going to run down the tree through the funnel into the bag so I've got to drill my holes now and then attach the bags to the funnels all right guys here are the funnels that we made I have the maple syrup bags I have zip ties and I have our electric tape and the way I do it, I'm going to put the hole down. I want the bag, in, I want the funnel in the middle of the bag. I fold this over like that. It doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to be on there. So I got this on. Now I have to do my zip tie. This is a little bit tricky to do by yourself. But we manage. I don't want to lose that. Make sure my zip tie is as tight as I can get it. Then I take electric tape and around the perimeter, as kind of an added precaution, I put my electric tape around the perimeter. I'll do a couple of wraps. I want to make sure I catch the plastic bag and I catch our PVC funnel. One last pull on this. I wanted to make sure that the zip tie got into the groove. One last pull. There you have it. It's ready to hang on the tray.